okay so yeah I just have to I feel like this video I've been burning to just have this talk through video about maybe areas that we are like missing when it comes to hitting on like uh, natural hair care and the types of products that you use I briefly touched on um, porosity or actually I touched on porosity in the upload before my last one and I'll link my last two videos down below in the description box but I feel like people are always saying how products don't work for them, how their hair just doesn't curl like this, this, and that. And I just want to maybe be a little more thorough in how I explain the things that I do for my natural hair so people don't think like it's just, oh, your hair is just curly and so it's just going to behave that way. No, or there's still things that I have to do and that are a routine for me that I do and there are reasons why I do those things. And I think like you hear the word regimen, regimen, regimen all the time and routine and my natural hair care routine. But like in reality, how often are you trying something and for what period of time are you trying it to see if it actually works? Or are you just trying every little thing that every YouTuber is telling you to do or every little advice that someone else is telling you to do without thoroughly understanding why they're giving you this advice? So I'm picking on myself right now and instead of just telling you what to do or what I do, I'm going to explain four, I think I wrote, yeah, four areas of natural hairstyling and why I do them the way I do and go more in depth. So the first area is when I think about styling my natural hair, I think about the results that I want, the outcome that I want. So do I want a wash and go outcome? Do I want to twist out? Do I want to braid out? These are things that you kind of have to tell yourself. Don't just go doing stuff to your hair. Like what, what type of style are you trying to achieve? Like get that in your head first before you just go experimenting to do stuff. So if I know I want to braid out or a twist out or a wash and go, depending on my hair texture and style and what kind of products I have, I'm going to kind of play with what I have. You know, I feel like we often rush out to get new products every time we want to do something to our hair and it's just not necessary. Either maybe we just need a little bit more drying time or maybe we just need to like, you know, have a product with a little more hold, but like knowing the results and what we want for our hair makes it a lot easier to like actually style and plan it if I don't think oh shoot um I'm gonna just throw in some braids in my hair and my hair don't look like yours like no sis like when you do your braid out like do it thoroughly do it on damp not soaking wet hair don't have your hair so wet that it won't hold the curl style and when you take it out the next day then your hair is still wet and you're upset like at this point in time the natural hair game is like so far along that like if you still struggling it's because you really not paying attention to your hair we want to listen to our hair okay okay so know what style that you want to have know what look you're going for that that would be the the first thing i recommend and maybe i'll do a natural hair like chit chat series like these are the things we're going to touch on this is what I think about before I do my hair. So the second thing, what are the products claiming to do? I always hear people say, that doesn't work for my hair. I just picked up a product that you told me to try. Or I just picked up this product. I just picked up that product. It does not work. Now, first, you have to look at what a product is claiming to do before you say it doesn't work. Because there will be a gel or some type of something hello Hi. sorry about that so people are constantly telling me how this product doesn't work for my hair I tried this product that product doesn't work for my hair such and such said this product was so great and like I said I already talked to you guys about porosity in my other video so I'm gonna link that down below and I'm gonna link the last video that I did with my cousin Kendall because she goes more into depth about porosity and natural hair and so you'll hear some tips and some trends when it comes to porosity and that kind of research you can do on your own or you can tell me if you didn't understand something you want me to go more in depth I can do that but as far as the products at this point in time, I'm starting to believe that it's not that products don't work. I just think personally that people aren't using the products properly or they have these high expectations for this product to have hold or why doesn't it hold my twist out like this or why doesn't it define my hair and the product really claims moisture 
or the styling gel says medium hold and you need extra hold you know what i'm saying like you have to know your hair enough before you go use products and blame it on the product not working but maybe it is how you're using it in your regimen what is the product claiming to do and if the product is claiming to moisturize your hair and your hair was thoroughly moisturized but you just didn't get the definition you needed add a gel so when i do my wash and goes or um more specifically my wash and goes i may add a gel for hold depending on how much hold the actual moisturizer may or may not have I moisturize my hair, I add a gel for hold. I know that gels get crunchy. I don't wanna walk around here with curly fry hair. So you always see in all of my videos, I use either argan oil, olive oil, some sort of oil, but I've been using olive, I mean argan oil for the most part, just a little bit to break the cast of that gel. So you're still getting the definition, but your hair isn't hard and crunchy, and you're rubbing that oil through your hair and it's just a little bit it doesn't have to be a lot but that's something that I've always done and you'll go through all of my videos that I have on YouTube about my hair and you'll see me run over it with the oil whether it be coconut oil argan oil it's changed over the years but that's just what I use um, again some things just kind of counteract each other and maybe us as youtubers we're not as thorough when we're explaining that hey this is why i put an oil on my hair at the next day when my wash and go is thoroughly dried and it's fully dried because i want to break that gel cast i want to break that crunch so now my hair also gets the definition and this is like a four day old wash and go so please don't judge my hair today um but your hair also has that definition but you use that oil to break that cast so you got definition and a little bit of bounce you know what I'm saying? So make sure you know what products are supposed to do for your hair. Don't just go throwing a whole bunch of stuff in your hair in an order because you saw somebody else do it. But know your hair enough and know what the products claim to do and then go from there. No one's saying that you have to use the products exactly how I use them in my routine. But if you know your hair and you know how your hair reacts to certain products, tweak your, tweak your regimen a little bit. Say, I like my wash and go last week, but I would like more hold. So maybe I'll add more gel. Or I liked my wash and go last week when I use the gel but I think it leaves a little more moisture I'm gonna add a moisturizer before the gel step these are things that can be tweaked nothing is set in stone nothing you have to do and there's no one perfect hair routine like I'm learning about my hair just as much as you guys are learning about yours I'm just happening to document my experience so you know just really play with the regimen I just offer advice but you don't have to see what I say as the end all be all. So number three, and I kind of already touched on this, but after a style sets, after you've done your twist out, you've done your braids and you know, it's dry, you've done your wash and go and it's dry. What are your next steps? People are always saying how they can never, they're like, oh my gosh, I can't get my hair to look like that. And it's, it's hard and you know, again, it may have a gel cast or my hair shrinks up so much. There are so many hacks on YouTube and just in general of how you stretch your hair at the end. Again, putting oil on your hair to break that gel cast. One of the things I use to stretch my hair is sometimes I just put my little fro in ponytails, like maybe four or five different ponytails around my head to keep it stretched. And so when I go to bed, I keep it stretched. And then when I take the ponytail holders out in the morning, I shake my hair out. That works for me. I also pineapple my hair sometimes. It just depends, you know, on what I do. And also on first day hair, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but I take my blow dryer to my roots. Not on super high. And if it is high, it's only there for a hot second. <laughs> a hot second. But I take my blow dryer to my roots um, and just stretch the areas that shrink up really bad. Like the back shrinks up really bad. The middle of my hair shrinks up really bad. So to avoid that, I do that on the first day. And then after that, I will use like a similar to the banding method. Um, not really banding my whole, the length of my hair, but just at the root so it won't shrink up so much. And I band my hair or I'll put it in ponytail holders or I will pineapple my hair so that way it doesn't shrink back up. And then my hair just gets bigger and bigger throughout the day. So always contemplate next steps. Don't just style your hair. You know, the wash and go is the same thing as a braid art or, to, or a twist out. You would never just braid up your hair or twist up your hair and then leave it that way. Now, some people would throw on a little, you know, cap or throw on a little beanie and y'all good. But I mean, like, there are next steps. You separate your curls. You, you know, fluff your hair. Like, 
things like that you don't just wake up the next morning and like my hair is always smushed to my head look at all of my videos I don't walk out like that though I manipulate my hair by using oils or using a blow dryer or whatever to make sure I get the stretch that I want make sure I get the softness that I want and the definition that I want you know however I want to use that but it, again your routine is really up to you and nothing is set in stone so don't ever think that you know oh I saw it this way in this video that's why I encourage you guys ask questions you know what I'm saying like at the end of my videos ask hey I didn't quite get like what you did with that step or why did you use this oil at the end or tell me what you guys want me to make a video about and I will definitely do it more in depth and the fourth thing that I would think about when I'm doing my hair is your night care routine and these are all if you notice they're spilling into one another because this is something that I think about every time I do my hair I think about what kind of style I'm trying to achieve I think about um what kind of products I'm using and what they're used for what do they claim to do and then I think about okay after I style my hair and it's dry what are the next steps how do I manipulate it to look the way I want it to look and then at nighttime, how do I maintain it how do I keep my hair together how do I keep it looking fresh and how may I get the longest wear out of this hairstyle so um definitely this wash and go like I said it's about four days almost five days old and it wouldn't get to this point and everybody loved my hair this weekend and I'm like y'all I need to wash my head my scalp is itching but I put a bonnet on at night you know I like I said I put my hair in the ponytails and then I'll throw the bonnet on at night I make sure that I either oil my hair at the ends or take care of my hair throughout the nighttime or pineapple it or whatever so that way I'm maintaining my hairstyle yes it's not going to be the exact same as first day hair you're going to have to fluff it out a little bit the back may get a little flat but this is what you have oils for there's ways to maintain your hair um just don't sleep without any satin bonnet satin pillowcase or whatever so guys if you like this video or there was anything in particular that you wanted a little more information on let me know drop a comment down below give this video a thumbs up definitely make sure that you join my family become a part of my family i don't have a name for us or nothing maybe when we hit 1k i will maybe i'll do a giveaway when we hit 1k so definitely tell your friends share this video share my page come back and join me give me your opinions okay we're here to have natural hair talk we're here to talk about skincare. We're here to talk about makeup, like all that stuff. Um, but I just been on a natural hair kick right now. So definitely give this channel video all that a thumbs up. Comment down below because I want to hear your feedback and I love hearing from you guys. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you join my family and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.